Greetings everyone, my name is Gustavo Alberola and I work as a Cloud Integrations Developer at MuleSoft. In this occasion I will be explaining how to make a basic Mule Studio application using the Hadoop Cloud Connector. In order to build and run the application we are going to need several things. Download and install a Mule Studio community version download the Hadoop connector from Studio and install the Hadoop file system server and have it configured properly. To download the Hadoop file system server you can go to hadoop.apache.org in the download Hadoop section. Also I used this helpful tutorial to configure the Hadoop server inside a Linux environment to make the demo. So let's get started with the demo. Inside Mule Studio first we are going to create a Mule project application that is made it go into file new Mule project. In this case I already have created the Hadoop config for the connector this is made uh, going to create Hadoop and setting the configuration. In my case, I'm using this configuration that is what the server is expecting. The authentication is made it using the currently logged in user in the operative system. Now, with our first flow, we are going to use an HTTP endpoint as our entry point. I will say the path to dear create. I leave the port to 881. And rename the flow to create directory flow. And next we use the Hadoop connector for displaying first the operation. We're going to use make directories. For the configuration I use Hadoop conf that is the array created config. In the name I'm going to use the same as the operation. This is a good practice to have. And for the path I go into set a group expression Bound properties. This is allow. This allow us to get the the properties that are sent to the HTTP as query parameters. In this case, I go into find. I going to look for the path parameter, and that is going to be used to create the directory. This is our first flow. Now to test it. Next, we are going to run the application as a Mule application. Going to our flow, run as Mule application. I already did that, and the application is up and running. You can see. Now you can go to your favorite uh, browser. In this case, we are going to point to the HTTP endpoint direction that we declare, that is at localhost in the port 8081, the path dear create, and this is the query parameter that we are the, the process of make dear in the Hadoop connector is going to use as the input for the directory. So we run this and a successful return. The directory was created. Next we are going to create another flow to use the process of get path metadata. In this case I set up the flow so I can we skip a little of time. The HTTP endpoint path is going to be metadata. 
the connector operation get pad metadata and as a pad we use the same pattern message inbound properties pad in this I use a set payload transformer that is going to use is the result of this transformer is going to be the payload the work behind get path metadata is that the result is stored in flow bars like this we can see we are creating a map the property to exist and the value the flow bar hdfs.path.exist and another property in this case checksum that this file checks them. These are all properties that came from Hadoop and for this operation you can find that in the documentation. And finally I use an object to string transformer to transform the map into a string so when we call this HTTP endpoint we get a text response so I will make the call I use the same path that the one we use to create a directory and the response says that in this case the Hadoop say that this path exists but it doesn't have a file checksum this is because uh, when you specify a path only it it will have a checksum if the path is a file. If it is a directory, checksum will be null. We create a new flow to use the operation delete directory from the Hadoop connector. It uses only one attribute that is the same that the, uh, we were using so far, path. And for the path, do you delete? let's try it. I will use the same directory that the, we use so far and then I'm going to call again the get metadata service okay the directory was eliminated and again this is the old call remember that exist was true now we expect that the response oh that was quick is false and again I create the directory and call metadata and now exists is true for detailed information on the Hadoop Cloud Connectors operation check the documentation available in github repository under the demo folder there is a new project that covers all the connectors operations. There are also Mule School entries in the Mules of blog that are helpful for understanding Mule expressions or when integrating with other services. And now related to Mule ESB, you can visit Mules of website where webinars and other documentation is available under the resources option. Thank you for watching.